In this video, I'm going to show you how to create the Ken Burns effect in CapCut. This effect adds a dynamic zoom and pan to still images and videos, giving them a cinematic feel. First, open CapCut and create a new project. Import the image you want to apply the effect to. I'll walk you through three ways to create the Ken Burns effect. For the first method, let's start by adding a dynamic rotation. Move the playhead to the end of the clip and click the Add Keyframe button. Then, go back to the beginning of the clip and click Add Keyframe again. Increase the scale to your preferred size and adjust the rotation to make the effect more dynamic. Play back your clip to see the result. For the second method, delete the existing layer and add a new image. Move the playhead to the beginning of the clip and click the Add Keyframe button. Increase the scale and drag the video downward until it reaches the border. Now, move the playhead to the end, click the Add Keyframe button again, and drag the image upward until it reaches the top border. Play back to check how it looks. Lastly, for the Zoom In and Zoom Out effect, move the playhead to the beginning of the clip and click the Add Keyframe button. This will be your starting point. Then, move the playhead to the end of the clip and add another keyframe. Increase the scale using the scale slider to create a zoom in effect. For a zoom out effect, reverse the process, move the playhead to the end, then go back to the start and adjust the scale. Once your sites you're satisfied with the effect, click the export button. And that's it. You've successfully created the Ken Burns effect in CapCut. Thanks for watching, and if you found this video helpful, consider subscribing to help others discover this content. Happy editing!